Welcome to the 1984 NBA Draft. Here is the man, the number one choice of the NBA Draft. The Chicago Bulls pick Michael Jordan. He is one of the most exciting players to come out of college. Hands down, Elijah Wan was the number one pick. He just couldn't pass on Akeem because he was going to be the greatest, not Michael Jordan. It was a great uh, moment of my life. Big was better back then. Portland selects Sam Bowie. Uh-oh, we were looking to try and draft a, a big player. He had all the pieces except two good legs. Standing ovation for the number three pick in the NBA draft. He said to a group of us once, they're all going to regret that I went number three. I'll never let them forget it. Here's Jordan down the middle. I'm just looking forward to the opportunity. I don't worry about what people say about my weight or anything. When you first saw him, you just didn't think he could jump, which he could. You just didn't think he could run the floor, which he could. It looked to me like Barkley was like, hey, y'all, I'm here. I'm going to be really good, and I'm going to have a lot of fun doing it. John Stockton, a surprise here at the Felt Forum. Name by name went by and then the phone rang. Hot Rod Hunley was on the other end of the line. Right off the bat, he told me that, that it wasn't booing that they were doing. It was hooey. They were asking, you know, who, who was this? The draft was, was top heavy with great players, but there were also some good players deeper in the draft that were high in as well. To have five Hall of Famers in one class is virtually unprecedented. I don't know if you'll ever see another draft like this ever.